Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Spelunky 2, where last time I recorded late in the day, this time it is morning, and so I'm hoping that that means my own awakeness is going to improve my performance. <laughs> we'll find out whether there's actually a reliable correlation there. Or at least gather some data along those lines. Alright, Damsel Doggy is in a gettable spot. So let's go try to get him. Uh, this bat is just going to get punched by the bear trap. And the crate has extra ropes, which is very nice for 1-1. So we have the potential to get out of here with extra resources. And it looks like this way will get us to the exit and will also get us the chance to get the ghost pot for a little bit of extra cash on the way out. Alright, Damsel Dog, you can get dropped off over here. Bat, I'm going to use you to get up here. We're going to grab this and move forward. Alright, we have Kali Altar. And I can't tell if over to the right there's any chance for the location to drop off the key, if this happens to be the key level. And I think to set off, yeah, the arrow trap, I'm going to utilize those gold bars. Which is something you rarely get a chance to do in Spelunky 2. So I'm glad I was able to take advantage of the opportunity. Are spike shoes worth angering shopkeepers? I think the answer is yes. There is the key, so we definitely need to look up here and see if the place to drop it off is up here, and I can't exactly tell. I think maybe no. So let's keep moving downwards and hope that that's the case. Alright, key. Come to me. The mole is already pretty injured. And there's the place to drop off the key. Great. And a bunch of other stuff, too. Okay. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead and grab the aforementioned spike shoes and a shotgun for good measure. Don't think there's much that I need to kill over here, but we'll just take a quick look. Uh, there's the mole. Uh, he can't get through the wood over here, though. And the other mole seems far enough away that I think I could just drop this off at the exits. And go get the Ujat Eye. Great. You know what? I guess I could have purchased the Spike Shoes. It never occurs to me. Um, but I had the money. So I probably could have just purchased the Spike Shoes, not angered the shopkeepers. And perhaps had a safer 1-3 to try to get some turkeys. That would not have been an unreasonable decision. But it's not the decision I made, so let's run with it. Definitely hear turkeys. There's some turkeys and yangs, and there's another turkey below. Yeah, two turkeys here. Okay, great. And I don't see anything to light them with, and I do have extra bombs, so I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I should have been careful there because we might be within Yang's aggro detection range. Which I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are. For how close Yang has to be to see what you're doing to the turkeys. Uh, but I'm just going to do this and set the turkeys on fire using the bomb in order to get the extra hearts. And then I'm pretty much happy to head towards the exits. Obviously dealing with the shopkeeper. There's another turkey down here. Wait a minute, what's going on? There's just a random extra turkey in the level. Alright, well, can't deal with that right now. Got other problems. Okay, other problems have been solved. Pick up a little bit of extra money, because why not? And it's seven hearts. I don't think I need to go after another turkey, especially if it's going to cost me another bomb. All right, Damsel Doggy 
I rarely rescue you from this level, and today is no different. It's a little bit dangerous to go that way. It looks like it's going to be less dangerous to go this way, so I choose this. And... Anybody waking up over here? It is a skeleton key out of the bone structure. I've seen that once before, I think, off camera. But now you've seen it on camera. It's possible to get the skeleton key out of the pile of bones. So now we have a skeleton key. That's very nice. And this guy's not in the best location for the things I would like to do. But I guess we'll do this. We'll get him to roll. And then I want to make sure he rolls the other way, because I want to go the other way. There we go. Roll further the other way, guy. That's not what I wanted you to do at all. Uh, how do I want to play this? I don't love waiting, but we're pretty early in the level. So we'll wait for him to walk across. I'll get him to roll to the left, break down the wall, and then I'll shoot him. And with a shotgun jump, well, it depends on exactly where he rolls. All right, hey, guy. Okay, I think he should be dead. Yes, he is dead. I see the turkey over there. Okay, great. So with a shotgun jump, I should be able to make it up here and get more bombs. Great. And spider can just die this way. Okay, we're doing very well on resources. There's a spider directly above the exit over here. Um, yeah, and we have to deal with shopkeepers too. Okay. So let's get moving. Safe enough through here. Immediately run away. Good. And the shopkeeper down here is going to be a pain in the neck. Um, I'm going to take a risk with this. That worked. He was in such a narrow area, it seems likely that I would be able to hit him there. So we'll just do that and continue on into the jungle. Alright, we're in pretty good shape. We have spike shoes, which means I can walk on the thorns. We have the Ujat Eye, which means I can look for the Woody Call. Okay, be very careful of that guy. I think I choose to go over here. Let's go ahead and shoot him. Let's shoot him as well. And I don't see any signs of ticks from the Ujat Eye over here, I don't think. So let's continue further to the left in the level. Uh, that's a very awkward place, but if I just keep moving, I should be fine. Okay. Alright, Damsel Doggy's up there. He can stay put. He looks nice and safe. Great. Ooh, there's a Tiki Man by the exit. Is that one that I already have? Probably. Or a Tiki Man. <laughs> Casket, I guess, is the word I was looking for. I don't know how Tiki Man got in there. The monkeys might jump on, jump on the shopkeeper, I think. Let's look around for the Jujadai a little bit more in the level before we head directly to the exit. Alright, monkey. Don't like you. Alright. That's a problem that solved itself. That one too. Oh, we could rescue Parsley. Yeah, that could be a good thing to do. And there's some other nice gems right there. So let's do that. We can also take a peek down here, see if there's any sign of the Ujjad Eye. Uh, this is not Parsley. I will take a look. Is it a shop? If I could burn things, we could go over that way. Alright, it's just a little cave. Right, is Parsley on 2-2? I think that might be the case. I haven't yet learned all the patterns of some of the new content. 
but it might be 2-2, 2-3, and 2-4 that have Parsley and Parsnip and whoever. I have 10 bombs. I'm going to spend another bomb over here to get down here. Open up the hired hand. And then I'm really curious to see if the monkeys are going to help me out. They did. Kind of. All right. Great. Uh, there's a bat coming. That's fine. Okay, let's go. We have a hired hand. Who might help us out. Don't know how long he'll last. It's very vertical over there. Over there is probably where Parsley is, I suppose. So let's try to take a look over that way. I don't know that I'm going to be getting up there, though. Oh, wait. Bujat Eye. Now I am going to try to get up there. Unless it's downwards. It is downwards. It's right over here. Okay. Okay. Here's another chance to try to get to the black market and rob it successfully. So let's just do it. I kind of know the layout of this place. I know that shopkeepers can climb. Uh, let's see. There's the yang side. I'm going to try to go to the other side. And then I'm curious, I think the crate over there is from a different cave that's surrounded in bedrock. And is there a new character here, or have I already gotten this one? There's a hired hand, okay. Interesting. I could try, like, bombing into the back here, actually. That could be interesting, let's try it. Uh, hired hand, get away from there. So the shopkeepers are on patrol, but they haven't detected me just yet. So if I were to do this, And I gotta be ready. Yep, here they come. For them to come from this side. Okay. And now I think they might climb up here. Yep. Okay, so far this is going great. I think I killed both of those guys. There will still be more. I think I've killed at most four of them. And I'm not sure where they are. Uh, Yang looks like he's still okay. There's one definitely running around over there. Uh, is this one dead? Nope. I'm not sure what's happening there. Oh, it's the hired hand is carrying the shopkeeper. Got it. Okay, I would like a cape. And there's some shoes here that I would like. And if I do that... How do I get... There we go. Get you to do that. Oh, that was close. Okay. The head jet's up there. Um, I have plenty of time due to the way that the ghost works when you have the... What do you call... I'm not entirely certain that every shopkeeper is dead, but it seems like it. And I am a fan of the power pack, so I'm going to get it. Although then I lose the cape. Hmm. hmm. I think I actually do prefer the cape. Now that I think about it. I do have climbing clubs, though. Although if I had the power pack, I could have burned those things. That's okay. we got plenty of time still. Don't need the teleporter. And Yang is not angry. Oops, I just killed my own hired hand. Okay, we got the head jets. And I could use the pick to break some things away and get some more money, but let's not worry about that. Let's just be happy about the fact that we did it. We accomplished one of my goals, which is to success uh, successfully rob the black market. Okay, there's still gonna be a shopkeeper at the exit, I believe. Oops, hey. Right, I have the super jumpy boots, I forgot. And I also have the cape. Oh, I see a shotgun on the ground over there, so I think he's already dead. And I forgot for a moment how the um, cape works. You actually have to hold the button to float. So I almost fell on the spikes there. Okay, we robbed the black market. Sadly, there were not many bombs to be had. Probably some of them exploded. Uh, but overall, happy with how that turned out. Let's see, you are not angry, 
And is there anything to be gained from your challenge? Like possibly some money. This is gonna be parsnip, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and rescue you. And also, what did I see below here? Just a tiny cave without much in it. Getting a little bit stuck with the climbing gloves since I'm not used to having all this gear. Damsel Doggy might be rescuable. So we may come back for you, Damsel Doggy. We'll see. And at this point, I've already rescued a person. So yeah, it's mostly just getting to the exit and then seeing if I have enough time that I want to try to rescue Damsel Doggy as well. Or if there's a Kali altar trying to find a bunch of corpses to sacrifice or something. I'm pretty sure I could do this. Great. Uh, oh, multiple shopkeepers here. And they have found me. Is there anything they could kill themselves on other than each other? Oh boy, and he can almost climb up here. Interesting that only one of them is angry. And so the others are just standing around getting ready to get shot in the face. That's pretty funny. Okay, now that I've got... Oh crap! <laughs> Didn't see that coming! Oh, okay. Same thing here. Okay. There's a chance to get down on the left-hand side. I'm not sure where that guy went. But I think if I just move... Yeah, I'm just gonna move. He's either killed himself over there somewhere or gotten lost. I don't think it's worth trying to go after Dam's doggy. Ooh. I don't know exactly how all the honey stuff works now, but I've got big bombs. And I am kind of curious. There's a ghost spot in there, though. And I really can't afford to have the ghost come early in the level. Oh, and this thing sees me. Uh, is there another way through the level that doesn't involve going through all of that? Maybe. Ah, oh, I hit my head. I tried to do a just gentle tap on the button, but it was still enough for me to hit my head over there, and I can't tell if there's a way down over there or not. Everything looks pretty dangerous around here. I think I'm going to choose to put up a sticky bomb here. And try to go down through over here, although, hmm, B, I think you'll die to this thing if I stand here. Yeah, alright, so there's one threat removed. And this mosquito bothers me. Alright, but let's maybe not worry about him too much right now and instead just try to get down the level. Oh, there's another witch doctor guy. And now the bee is trying to sneak up. Or the mosquito, sorry. Okay, I could totally jump on that guy's head though. So let's do this. Crap. Oh, I got touched and now I'm a uh, dark color and I don't know what that means. <laughs> Am I cursed? I'm just gonna move through the next level. I have a black something and I'm down to one heart. I hope it's not like poison that means that I'll just die over time. But I don't know what it means, so <laughs> perhaps we'll find out together. All right. Olmec. Oh, gosh. You hang out over there for a bit. Oops. That's the dumbest possible way to die. Well, I did accomplish something new, which is I successfully robbed the black market. But I died in a very stupid way. <laughs> ah, sometimes dems to breaks. Okay. Um, we're already 20 minutes in. I'm going to try to do a faster run. And it kind of goes against the wisdom of what I spoke last episode, but if we get past Quilbec, I might try to go to Volcana today. Just because I already accomplished my one main goal, and so doing a little side project to try to get a little bit more reconnaissance on that area that I don't know very well, I think could be interesting. Um, oh, this spider almost fell on my head, but he did not. Okay, we got through 1-1 rescuing Damsel Doggy. We already called that a win. 
Then in 1-2, there's a ghost pod over there. There is a thing over there. So the top left is basically devoid of possible key or turkey locations. There's the key. All right. Um, there's a tiny chance I could use the spider here, but I think a much safer thing to do is just to do that. Let's grab the key. And then the place to drop it off has to be below us somewhere. See, I've managed to not die to that skeleton. Too bad I died to the previous one. Oops. I also still have not internalized the physics of each individual item because the different items throw uh, in different ways. Ooh. I think it's worth robbing the shop with the power pack early. I can see where the key is eventually going to go, just below us, I think. So let me go ahead and drop that off. And then let's run in here. Um, the music is still playing, but that's because there was a... Uh, what do you call somewhere, I think? Damsel Doggy, can I rescue you? Not particularly easily, so let's not worry about it. Oops. There we go. Okay. Let's go get the Ujadai. And then on 1-3, there should be turkeys. And we'll be able to use the power pack to get some hearts back. Sounds good to me. Sure enough, there's a turkey. Hello, turkey. Become dinner. Thank you. Delicious. And once again, I don't take knockback off of ladders when I'm wearing the power pack. When I shoot the shotgun. But I think the trade-off is that my shotgun jumps do not go as high only two blocks rather than three for the shotgun jump. Okay. So we're still looking for other turkeys. There's one kind of middle left. I shouldn't have fired over there because there could have been like damsel doggy over there. Don't fire blindly unless you need to. All right, we'll wait for him to turn around so that we can shoot him in the back. Aha. That work. Okay, I heard Damsel Doggy. He's at the bottom right. And it looks kind of dangerous to get over there, so I don't know that I'll be going after him. Does Yang see this? He does not. So this turkey, despite Yang being on the screen, was still far enough away. And then the shopkeeper... I think I could just make a dash for it. Oops, except for I forgot about getting shot by the arrow trap because I'm a dummy. I'm still alive, hold on. I lost my shotgun, but I managed to make it out the door. This could be interesting now. All right, I have a power pack, but no shotgun. Yeah, this could actually be very interesting. I'm kind of happy that that happened actually. Uh, so I think in this scenario, I actually do want to carry the damsel right now. Um, oops, Ugh. I can't believe I just took damage from that, though. That was foolish. Damsel doggy, tell me if there's a skeleton key over here. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, damsel doggy, try to stay alive. All right, that's a good place for you. Hmm. What's the best way to play this? I said earlier I want to go to Volcana. Yeah, I should totally go to Volcana. Just one heart. So I should have made my move earlier. Alright, so let's try this. Okay, that got you moving the other direction. Now I'd like to have an object to throw at you to make sure that you break blocks to the right. So this will work. There we go. And then something else to throw at you just to get you out of here. Thank you. 
And then let's see if we can actually bring Damsel Doggy to the exit, because I am very low. And I'm also going to have a shopkeeper over there that I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with. Let's also keep an eye out for other threats. <gasps> I just killed Damsel Doggy. Oops. No, Damsel Doggy. Yeah, I did kill Damsel Doggy. Darn. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. These things happen. The Fire Whip can burn through spider webs. Which I think I already knew, maybe. But now I know for sure. I forgot to look down here to see if there were any immediate threats. Not really. Alright. Caveman Corpse is actually a very good projectile. So let's bring that with us. Oh, okay. And I would like to have a hired hand. And hired hand, do you want to go aggro the shopkeeper for me and do something amazing? Alright, he stunned him. That's progress. Crap. Darn it. Alright, I wanted the shotgun before I went in there, but it didn't work out that way. That was actually such a quick run that we have time to try another quick one. And I will try to get the Volcana again on this run as well. Okay. Um, this might dead end. If it does, I think I'll just use a bomb. And if we're doing a quick run, maybe I want to uh, have some extra money. So let's bring this with me. Damsel Dog, yeah, here somewhere to the right. There he is. Is the exit over there? I don't think it is. Yeah, I think the exit's in the other direction. Um, let's go nuts. Get the ghost's coming from the right-hand side. I know the exit has to be in the bottom left somewhere. Oops. Okay. That was not how I expected the that to behave. Sorry, damn sluggy. I wanted to save you, but it wasn't the cards for today. Alright. Trying to play fast. <laughs> Provoking the ghost is one way to ensure you'll play fast. One way or another, the level ends quickly. Oh! Ah, darn it, mole. I did not anticipate the mole kind of immediately coming back out after burrowing back in. I thought vaguely perhaps that they had a cooldown, but I think that proves that they do not. Once they go in, they can immediately come back out. Damsel Doggy, you're just gonna stay there. I found the exit. Oh, there was a Kali Altar. I was in a rush. And... Did not perceive the Kali Altar fast enough to take advantage of it because I had already exited the level. <sighs> That's not the best shot. Okay, see where to bring the key. Right over here. So let's get the Ujedi. Is there a black malt market in the Volcana? I don't actually know. That could be interesting to try to learn. Alright, um, we got the Ujedi. I didn't rescue the dog, but let's just move forward. We're trying to move swiftly here. Let's go ahead and set that off. Alright, we will break these just in case there's a skeleton key in here somewhere. Doesn't seem like there is. Ooh, that did not hit you. Fortunately, I was able to react. And I'm not sure where that landed. I would like something to throw at you. Okay, you're going the right direction to break open the way to Volcana. And then... Sounds like you did something there. Oh boy, okay. Alright, that's fine. Don't chase me anymore. You've done your work. 
Don't love this bat. Okay, that's acceptable now. And we'll just stun you to make sure that you're not attacking me right at the moment. I'm vaguely curious what's up there, but it's probably just behind the bones on the right hand side, a little shortcut thingy. So I don't think it's going to matter. I did not look down here to know. Okay, there is a trap above me. I think I would prefer owning the arrow. No, I'm just gonna stick with this. All right, that's fine. We can grab a hired hand to help us out. Perhaps we'll fall in some lava. And perhaps we'll discover if the Ujet Eye does anything in this level that I've only been to very briefly. I have watched some other people play this level some. I decided I'm trying to avoid spoilers in most of the game, but a number of people that I'm watching have chosen to go this way. And so I decided I would just go ahead and keep watching them. Uh, the ghost pot there seems very dangerous. I'm not sure if there's a chance that the hired hand will accidentally break the ghost pot. Uh, or pick it up. But I don't know if there's a whole lot I can do about that right now. I think I'm going to choose to attempt to continue to keep moving downwards. Like this. Oh, cool. Look at him go. He's doing some work. And there's a chance we could rescue the damsel here. Alright, don't come up here. You don't want to pick up that ghost pot. It's no good. Alright, this is extremely scary. As I have very little practice interacting with these little moving pads. And it's interesting that the exit is a little bit higher than the bedrock floor in here. And that robot thingy, I don't remember exactly what he does. Oh, that's not the exit. That's a cave of some sort. Hmm. Let's just go to the exit. For now. Um... And I have the money, I think I will do this. Because maybe there'll be some kind of different, like, victory stuff in here. Oh, cool. The, like, laser thingy, I think, was responsible for killing that skeleton. I've had this music in my head. It's kind of short and repetitive music, which is maybe why it got stuck in my head for this challenge. There's a treasure chest up there, but I don't know a way to get it. Is there any good loot anywhere in here? Here's a crate. With a camera. Well, you know I'll be carrying that out of here. Because who wouldn't want pictures of their trip? After the moon challenge, or whatever this thing is called. All right, my pick should break shortly. I think we did turn a positive in the money category. I don't really care about the money. Ooh, there's something else down there. I wonder if that means that this is the, you know, quote unquote, black market level then. And that's the equivalent of the black market that I'm seeing down there. Because this thing was pretty tall already. Does this stun you? It does. All right. Hired hands are stunned by camera. We're learning things. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, and there's a new character I can unlock. I can probably do it from here. No. I have to whip it open. All right. Who do we get? We got... Lies Project. A robot designed to explore and enjoy herself. After a thousand years, she'll return to her greatest with the data she's collected. All right. Um, I would prefer to hold the camera myself, please. Thank you. All right. There's TNT in the walls, I notice. I wonder if it can be exploded by a camera lens thing. Apparently, no. I presume that if I pick up the idol, all that stuff's going to explode and lava's going to flow out. It's just kind of a reasonable guess based on what I know of this game. Camera doesn't seem to affect those guys. I think I can ride this down and then like jump off near the end to not take fall damage. 
So I'm going to do that. I have no idea what happened to my helpers. I don't think I've seen Ujarai going off at all, but I really haven't paid enough attention. There's a Kali altar where I can sacrifice some of my friends. That sounds pretty grand right now, actually. So let's attempt to do so. Oh, and a leprechaun, too. So many corpses. Alright, leprechaun. There we go. I can sacrifice you. I can sacrifice you. I can sacrifice you, and I get boots. Alright, how great is that? Oh, and I see the end of the rainbow over there. I only have one bomb left, though, so I'm not sure I can get there. Uh, hmm. If I did, it would be from the right. Can I get through on the right? Maybe. Uh, if I stun you... Okay, you drop that and you turn into a walking lava thing. That's similar-ish to Splunky One, and that's the edge of the level over there. I think we have to know what happens when I do this. Golden Monkey uh, just died in lava. The lava, just like the water, also has a much more flowy liquid f physics than it used to in the previous game. So that's interesting and noteworthy. Uh, hey camera, stay with me. I have plenty of time to explore this level if I want to. Oops. Oh no. Oh, that was scary. Well, I did make it to the exit. Let's just go to the exit. Let's try to get as far as we can. I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> We're exploring. We're getting a few more things in our journal. Interesting. He did not get completely squashed and destroyed. He just got hit. So in the old... Spelunky... Oh, crap! Okay, the falling platforms. Oh, dear. I'm down to one heart. The falling platforms would completely destroy anything below them. You know what? I see a way to the exit, and I'm about to die anyway, so let's use our last bomb. Let's bomb to the exit, and just see if we can get all the way to 2-4 completed to see if it is Olmec, basically from the other side. I'll definitely want to check my journal at the end of this. You can skip through that cutscene, by the way, by pressing the button. I didn't rescue anybody, so there's nobody up here to help me out. I don't have any bombs, so the only way to deal with Olmec is the good old-fashioned way of having him do some smashy-smashy. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the journal. So it shows me going down the right-hand branch and then branching back to the left, back into Olmec. So it kind of shows the branching path structure of this game. And given the height of the map, I can imagine there being like six dash something or eight dash something over on the left-hand side map. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we had some fun doing some different things on this one. And so I'm pretty pleased with that. And we managed to rob the black market successfully, and we got a new little friend. Um, yeah, so we're going to call that a success. Oh, look at all the houses over here. We need more housing to store all the peeps. So I guess my next goal for a future episode is going to be to try to unlock the shortcut that goes to the tide pool. Um, yeah. That means getting past Olmec again a few times, potentially. Okay, so look forward to it. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Spelunky. For now, bye-bye.